A dawn briefing for wildlife rangers in Thailand. Their mission is to keep watch over one of the last strongholds in Southeast Asia of the tiger. This sanctuary has to be guarded around the clock. The patrols are armed. This has the look of a military operation, just as well, because there's a kind of war being waged here to defend the tigers from the constant threat of highly professional poachers. Automatic cameras positioned in the jungle picture these highly prized animals. Thailand used to have thousands living in the wild. Now the largest single population is here, and it only totals about 60. The numbers are dwindling because many people, especially in China, believe tiger skins and body parts have medicinal value, and they'll pay very high prices. It's our tiger tracks. A ranger spots something. In the riverbed, an unmistakable tiger paw print in the sand. The dimensions, the location and the time are all carefully noted. This is a really fresh tiger print. There's another one here. The tiger was just in this area last night and may still be around. What the team are trying to do is establish a really methodical record using the best technology they can of where every tiger is in this sanctuary to try to keep one step ahead of the poachers. And these are some of the poachers, pictured on their own mobile phones, straddling the body of a tiger. They're now in jail. Those are the Electronic maps are used to keep track of any sign of the poachers, to work out the patterns of their attacks. The people here know they can never relax. One gang can poison and kill more than 20 tigers in just like two or three months' time. So that that quite one third of the population here. So that 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 means you have to keep on guard. There are 200 rangers to guard the sanctuary, but for their weapons training, they haven't got enough weapons. No surprise, the rangers feel they're at a massive disadvantage. But tigers are very big business. Six months ago, these cubs were found heading out of Thailand. Demand is intense. As wild tigers become harder to find, people breed them in captivity instead. Three years ago, one drugged tiger cub was even found in a suitcase at Bangkok airport. For the moment, the tigers in the sanctuary are relatively safe. Their numbers are low, but fairly stable. But as to their long-term survival, well, there's no guarantee. David Shukman, BBC News, in Thailand.